Mr. Beethoven is a short story written by Paul Griffiths, which tells the story of an elderly Beethoven who has lost his hearing and is struggling to compose his last great work. The story explores themes of creativity, mortality, and the power of music to transcend physical limitations. The story begins with a description of Beethoven's isolated life in his small apartment where he spends most of his time trying to compose his final masterpiece. Griffiths portrays Beethoven as a man who is driven by his passion for music, despite the challenges he faces due to his deafness. The author highlights the struggle that Beethoven faces, as he attempts to translate the music he hears in his mind onto paper. Griffiths writes, his ear was inside his head, and there it could hear anything he wanted it to, anything at all. But when it came to putting it on paper, to making it real, there were problems. Griffiths also emphasizes the loneliness that Beethoven feels as a result of his deafness. He is unable to communicate with others, and his only solace is in his music. This is demonstrated when a young musician comes to his door and asks to play for him, but Beethoven is unable to hear the performance. Despite this, Beethoven invites the musician inside, and they share a moment of understanding through the language of music. This scene shows the power of music to connect people, even when other forms of communication fail. The author uses vivid imagery to describe Beethoven's surroundings, which serve as a metaphor for his deteriorating health. The apartment is described as dark and damp, and the windows are caked with grime. This imagery suggests that Beethoven is slowly fading away, both physically and creatively. However, Griffiths also uses imagery to suggest that Beethoven's music has the power to transcend his physical limitations. The author writes, when he wrote, he was a bird soaring, a fish swimming in a clear, cool stream. Throughout the story, Griffiths employs a lyrical writing style that mimics the musicality of Beethoven's compositions. The author uses short, staccato sentences to convey the rhythm of Beethoven's music, while longer, flowing sentences mimic the sweeping melodies. This style of writing enhances the emotional impact of the story, as it draws the reader into Beethoven's world and allows them to experience the power of his music. The climax of the story occurs when Beethoven finally completes his last great work, and the world hears it for the first time. The author describes the performance in vivid detail, using sensory language to convey the intensity of the experience. Griffiths writes, The air was electric, charged with anticipation. And then, as the music began, a hush fell over the crowd, and the world disappeared. The story concludes with a poignant scene in which Beethoven dies shortly after the performance. However, the author suggests that his music will live on, and that his legacy will continue to inspire future generations. This is demonstrated in the final lines of the story, in which Griffiths writes, The music would go on, Beethoven knew. It would go on and on beyond time and beyond life. In conclusion, Mr. Beethoven is a powerful and evocative story that explores the themes of creativity, mortality, and the power of music to transcend physical limitations. Through vivid imagery and lyrical writing, Paul Griffiths brings Beethoven's world to life, and captures the essence of his music in a way that is both moving and profound.